Hello guys, in this video, I will show you how to use my World Cup 2014 schedule and score sheet, but this one with top score feature. By using this spreadsheet, you will have an opportunity to record and follow the progress of top scorer in this World Cup tournament. To use this spreadsheet in the beginning is basically the same with my World Cup 2014 schedule and score sheet. Set up your language and set up your time zone. And then after that, you can start to type the score. But before typing the score, you have to define the players. There are 23 players per team uh, which allow to be played in the World Cup. By the time I made this video, the player not available yet, but you can find it in the FIFA official webpage. Here I use uh, just dummy players that I found from the previous World Cup just to show you how this spreadsheet work. Okay, as you can see here, I put the score for match between Brazil and Croatia. I put 2-0 and you can see there are two blue boxes come up and then you can select the player who scores the goal. There are also options to pick a score from other, say there is an own goal. So there is a list of the own goal person. So basically you can pick those. But the player who scores an own goal won't be counted in the top scorer list. Okay, you can see that. I just uh, try to simulate. Okay, I try to speed up the process here. So at the bottom of this group stages worksheet, you can see the standing of each team as well as the top scorer list at the right side. So you can see. It's always changing, but basically this is uh, there are group stages and the knockout stages. So this is the list of the top score in group stages. And when you move to the knockout stages, you can see the top score list again on top of this worksheet. And basically this is the final, the final top score list. Okay, I just put a dummy. You can, uh, there are, there, as you can see, there's a white boxes, but there's a penalty kick boxes, but you don't have to put any goal scorer in those penalty kick boxes because it won't be counted in top score list. And here, if just in case there are more than one player sharing the same goals and the rank has to be based. On other factor like assist or something, all you have to do just re-rank manually. See, I, there is a re-rank boxes at the right side. You can just change the ranking, and then the top score list will be adjusted automatically based of the new rank that you put at the right side. Okay, guys, just play around with this spreadsheet to get used to it. Have fun, thank you, and bye-bye.